Hi, welcome to another SkyMind screencast tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to import a model that was generated and saved using the Python Keras library and import that model into Deep Learning for Java. The data we're going to work with is the IRIS data set. So 150 examples of measuring characteristics of plants. Sepal length, sepal width, petal width, and petal length, and then the label. Let's take a look at the Python code for the model. So we're going to read that IRIS CSV file. First four fields are measurements. Uh, the last field is a label. So we're going to specify uh, the label as the second data set. We're going to encode that label as integers. Our neural net doesn't deal with strings. It deals with numeric values. Then we're going to build our model. We're using the Keras sequential API instead of the functional API. And this will map to a multi-layer network in Deep Learning 4J. Add some layers, compile the model, specify the loss function and the optimizer, run fit to train the model. And I've added this little piece of code here so that we can test uh, that the output of the Keras model is the same as the output of the Deep Learning 4J model. So I just want to test a input with measurements of 4, 6, 3, 6, 1, 0, and 0, 2 and get Keras's prediction and compare that to the same collection of values in Deep Learning for J. Now here's the part where we save the model so we can load it into Deep Learning for J. There's a number of options and in this example I cover I think all of them. You can save the weights and the JSON. The weights will be saved in an H5 file. You can save both the weights and the model configuration in a single file. One just to save the weights, one to save the weights and the configuration, and one just to save the configuration. I'm going to go ahead and run uh, the Keras model. I had the model print out its input. I had it print out the labels. And then I had it print out the one hot encoding of those labels, just for information purposes. Then the model trained. And then the last very important piece is I tested it with that one input to get the output. So as we see from the output, right, it favors label one uh, versus label two and label three with values of nine two one three and zero three we need to remember those so we can compare them with the output of the deep learning 4j version of the model in order to use model import uh, we're going to recommend uh, version 7.3 of deep learning 4j and you'll need to add the dependency for model import into your POM file. Here is the DL4J, the Deep Learning for Java code, uh, to import the model that I just saved in Keras. I'm going to load it twice. So I'm going to demonstrate the code to load the weights and the config separately. In that case, we use Keras model import and import Keras sequential model and weights and we specify first the JSON file name for the configuration and the weights file name. Note that although I don't do it in this example we could just import a configuration and in that case we would be creating not a multi-layer network model but a multi-layer network configuration. Note that we can also load the weights and the config from a single file. And this is the file that saves both the H5 weights and the configuration 
in the same archive. Uh, we recommend, if possible, to use this method as it gives Deep Learning for Java the most information about the model and therefore will give you the most options after the model has been loaded. In that case, I just specify the uh, HDF5 file name. So I'm creating two models here. It's a little redundant, but for the purpose of demonstration. I'm going to print the output of our tool that displays uh, the JSON version. So this is the equivalent of the Keras model to JSON. So I'll print out the JSON just to the console. Our model expects input that looks like this. Right, the four parameters, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. And note that I'm going to build an array to test the model. So I'm going to put 4, 6, 3, 6, 1, 0, and 0, 2, just like I did in Python. So the model will be loaded twice, once as model, once as model 1. And I'm going to uh, get the output of the model here. So I'm passing it these values as my array. And then the output I'm going to print to the screen. And then I'm going to do the same for uh, model 1. Model 1 was loaded all from one HDF5 archive. And model was located from a separate JSON config uh, and a separate file for the weights. Let's go ahead and run that code. First we see the JSON configuration. I could also serialize the model using a model serializer tool which would be similar uh, to Keras uh, save model. And then we check the output. We verify what we passed. So I passed it in the array 4, 6, 3, 6, 1, 0, and 2. And its output was 9, 2, 1, 3, and 0, 3. And the same for the second one. Now let's switch to the screen that I ran the code in Python and let's compare. 9, 2, 9, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3, 0, 3. And 0, 3. So our model is working and our model is returning results that are consistent with the results that were generated in Keras. So that's it. I will share the code uh, for you in a link provided in the comment section of the video. Thank you.